Hello, baseball fan. Just about set to go now. And on the mound today, Tyler Glass now. What do we have on him? Well, he got. Leading off tonight for the Yankees, the center fielder, Aaron Hitt. Into the eighth inning his last time out, really pitching deep in the games as of late. We'll see today how many innings he's got in him. Here comes a pitch. Aaron Hicks stands in now and lets that one go for a strike. First pitch, 7 10. Glass now back to work, the 0 1. Ball one. one ball, one strike. Bounce to the right side. In plenty of time to first, and Hicks is out. As we take a look now at the New York Yankees lineup, Chris, this is a lineup offensively that could be really good for years to come. They're deep, first and foremost, but the way that they can manipulate their personnel for matchups and everything else, it's. Uh, very intelligent the way that they use their team and I, I think it creates a little bit of uh, uncertainty for opposing teams especially in a big game big series and that one wrapped foul no score just getting started top of the first next offering is in for a strike Goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there on the mound. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Two outs, base is empty. Giancarlo Stanton at the plate. Giancarlo Stanton. Bounced out to short. Franco on to first. And they take care of Stanton for the out. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Yankees nothing. Tampa Bay coming up. Major League Baseball. Bottom of the first. And today's starter, Garrett Cole. Comes into this start sporting a lifetime ERA just over three. He's been pretty Leading great for, for most Ray. of his big league career. Can't no wait to Ray. watch him in this one. Randy. Bottom of the first. Here's the left fielder, Randy Arozarena. Kicks and deals. And a swing and a miss. Yep. Okay. Love that Garrett Cole is sort of a throwback guy out there on the mound. Sort of that classic power pitcher. He's going to attack with that fastball, move it all around the edges of the zone. And when he has to, fill up the strike zone with confidence that hitters can't touch it. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And there's one down. Now batting Wander Franco. Batting Very frustrating right there Franco. as a speedy Franco. potential base runner when the two strikes, you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error. Batting but third. some way, you got to find a way the to shorten base. up the swing and put the ball in right play here. next time. Lau at the plate. Yep. First pitch ball doesn't one. find the zone. Cole, of course, the first overall pick by the Pirates in the 2011 draft out of UCLA and really blossomed as he moved from Pittsburgh to Houston in 2018. Next offering is foul back. Well, the hitter's got his timing down for the breaking ball. If you're a pitcher, if you can get that fastball in on the hand, it's going to be very difficult for that hitter to get the barrel to it. One, two now. Down and in, right, moved his feet. Two. He's one of the two pitchers to strike out 14 batters in three consecutive games. Pedro Martinez was the other to do it, but Garrett Cole, again, just to... Well, we'll hold that thought as that's the third out, and we'll end the inning. Rays go in order. One, two, three. Scoreless after one.
Back now in Tampa Bay. Second inning set to go. And now big number 99 Aaron Judge. Aaron Glass now back to work. There's a strike. Glass now ready to deal. I understand you want to try to gauge that guy's fastball, but you also have to be aggressive and ready to hit in your zone. Now you're in a tough spot. Next offering is down low. For Judge, he's really developed into more than just a power hitter. He covers the plate well, shows impressive awareness of the strike zone to boot. That's critical. Very important. If you want to be one of the best to ever play, it can't be all about hitting home runs. You have to have plank discipline as well. Judge rips that one. He gets there to make the play. A nice running grab. And there's one down. That is big. And now it's the Joey Gallo. Joey Gallo. And he caught it behind his back. Throw over to Choi, and they take care of Gallo for the out. Batting fit. The second baseman. Labor. Here is the young yeah. phenom, Labor Torres. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Looking at Torres, have to say, he's one of the most impressive young players I've seen in recent years. Well, no question about it. His future is very bright. The city, the organization, both are excited about him. He has a lot to look forward to. Next offering is foul back. Next one is off the play. Now one and two. When you think about it, he may be in the league for the next 10 or 15 years. Got it. And that'll do it. In check. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Welcome Leading back. Here's a big power threat. Mike Zunino. Hitter. Going away. Oh, one's the count. Zunino. Next offering is in for a strike. Carl Dixon doing the umpiring behind the plate. And Boog, I'm not sure if it's because he sort of sets up higher than most, but one thing to be aware of with Dixon is the high strike. Not usually a big deal because most guys are swinging at pitches up there, but we may see some surprise looks from hitters from time to time because that's just so unusual. Next pitch is in the dirt. Two and two. What about an umpire's height? How much of a role does that play in your experience and what the strike zone is like? Yeah, I think it pushes the strike zone up a little bit, which, you know, as a former hitter, you like that. You wanted the ball up. You didn't want to have to deal with stuff down in the zone Maddie consistently. G-Man Choi next to hit for the Rays. Joy. No hits in the shutout last night. And first offering is fouled off. No score here in the second. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Quickly in an 0-2 count, you've got to figure out a way to shorten your path to the baseball. Put it in place somewhere, then you got a chance. And here it comes. And down on strikes he goes. And there's two away. Already three strikeouts here in the early part of this start, so I think the guys further it. down in this lineup the might catcher. need to take notice, Run take some Cisco. notes, share some information. Got to bring a better plan to the plate or else it's going to be a really difficult game. Disrupt this pitcher. Do something to get him out of his rhythm. Francisco Mejia coming up to hit. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. Swing and a line drive and a base hit up the middle. And that keeps the inning alive. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We the saw the numbers baseman. coming into the ball game. Yandy. But all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Yandy Diaz now. Now this is in the air down the line. Gallo makes the catch, and that'll do it. 
The Rays strand just the one. We'll move to the third with no score. New inning getting started. Here's the third baseman, Josh Donaldson. Leading off for the Yankees. The third baseman, Josh Donaldson. The right-hander back to work. Gets the slider in there for a strike. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. Next one off the plate inside. And now it's even one and one. Next pitch is outside. Swings and misses. That is strike two. Next offering is downstairs. Well, he's not afraid to fall into a two strike count. Knows the strike zone very well, so much so that I think umpires will look at him and determine whether it's a ball or strike if he swings or not. And a 3 2. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Another strikeout for Glass now. And stepping in for the Yankees, Ben Workbet. The catcher. Ben Workbet. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Yo, one. On the ground, right side, boots it. Throw to first, oh. gets him. Good job to stay with it there for the second out. Batting none. The shortstop, Isaiah Kiner Falefa. Two outs, base is empty. Isaiah Kiner Falefa up to the plate. And first offering is fouled off. And a pitch. And there's a breaking ball that drops in there. Dangerous spot for that slider right there. Didn't seem to quite finish out front and get that sharp break. Tell you what, he doesn't want to throw that pitch again. Next offering way off the plate. 0-2 pitch that far out of the zone gives the hitter a little confidence that maybe he can climb back into this at bat. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. Mejia up with it over to first. In time, the 2 3 strikeout ends the inning. And, and he deals. For the, Rays, the right fielder. That's a strike. Not what he's looking for there, the 0 0 count. Looks like he wants the ball down in the zone. Kicks and fires. Swings and misses, and one gone. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically, he likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little fielder. anxious. Brett. So next Phillips. to the plate for Tampa Bay, Brett Phillips. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. Yep, that ball First out. offering, misses the mark. Swing and a miss. And the count is one and one. Left hand batter waits. And the count one and two. The pitch. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Back to back strikeouts. Well, that's a blue zone right there, or the cold zone now, on the hitting chart. Just no doesn't have field. much success Randy. in that part of the strike oh, zone. Right and a really good job of the pitcher executing. Try to go there as often as you can. The numbers are in your favor. And first offering is fouled off. Two outs. Yeah. There's a strike. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. Nothing doing for Tampa, and we are still scoreless.
back here at Tropicana Field. All set for the start of the inning. Here's the Yankees leadoff hitter, Aaron Hicks. Blast now, back to work. Started to go after it. Now we'll look down to third, and he went around. That's ruled a swing. The pitch. Slapped foul. The punch out there. One gone here. Well, definitely a borderline pitch right there, and he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. Now batting. You know, those are the tough ones base. to let go as a hitter, Anthony. but with the human umpire Rizzo. calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. Anthony Rizzo stepping in now for the Yankees. He's 0 for 1. Hit hard, base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Now batting. That ball was blasted, Boog, and as broadcasters, we can go weeks without seeing a ball hit 115 miles per hour, which is what StatCast tells us there. Man, he really got the bat through the zone and did not get cheated. Yeah, that ball was absolutely smoked. Oh, and one now. And a strike in there. Giancarlo Stanton, certainly a physical presence, and Chris, one of the more imposing guys at the plate in the entire sport. He's a force, and I think it's scary for pitchers thinking about making a mistake to him because you know you're not going to get that baseball back. He hits the ball so hard, you don't even have to watch him swing. You can just close your eyes and listen and know exactly who it is that hit the ball. Well, he found himself behind in the count right the there, man. but he didn't give in. Like there was nothing cheap about the Aaron. way he got that one through the Good. infield. That was ripped, caught out in front, and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. Here comes Aaron Judge. And that's in there for strike one. Righty to the plate. That's in there, and that's strike two. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Bounced up the middle. There's one. Oh, he gloves it. It's there, and that's a great play. To the bottom of inning number four now. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Bottom of the inning. Now here is Wander Franco. And leading up for the way, not shortstop, Runter, Runter. The wind of the pitch. Ball one, oh, no man. strikes. Next offering is in for a strike. Hey. Gonna count one and two. Two misses to even the count. Well, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at-bat. I'm sure there's some times where pitchers would rather just give up a first pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on one hitter. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. So a runner aboard to start the inning. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the, the way ball. early. He the stayed inside base. that ball and squared right it up there. out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Oh, and now they've got count. some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Comes up empty on the swing. Oh, and two now. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Try to stay out of a double play here. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's one away. Just absolutely rolling on the mound. He's looking very much on his game in the early parts of this one, Boog. Fully on the attack with these hitters. That's seven strikeout. Here comes the pitch. Runner breaks for second. Strike in there. No throw safe at second. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. One out and a runner at second. 
The next ball, offering misses. And that's ball one. Man at second. And a swing and a miss. Two down. Boog gets talked about a lot, but a good high fastball in a two-strike situation, now it's back. just become First such baseman. a problem for hitters in more recent sure. years. But with all of the emphasis by pitchers on developing that spin rate, having a good grip on the baseball, those high fastballs, they kind of look like to the hitter that they're rising, even though they're not, but they're not decreasing in velocity and spin rate, so very difficult.
to get the barrel on it. And he'll he's one. Good, he's he's trying for third. That's in for a strike. And that's a stolen base. Not even close. Very risky right there to try to steal third with two outs and a left-hander at the plate. And there's an open lane for that catcher to throw down. But he gambled. Now he's at third, 90 feet closer. Perhaps a ball in the dirt that gets away from the catcher, and they pick up a run. Going oh, two now. Three. Got him. And that is the inning. One left for Tampa. Still no score. Back here at the ballpark, we go to the top of the fifth. Now the left Leading fielder, the Joey Gallo. The left fielder. He is very much Joey. your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. But we've seen more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. Left-hand hitter waits. And now it's even up. I'll tell you what, he's embarrassed right now. Never swings at that kind of pitch, especially that early in the count. 1-1 one, one now. There's the strike. Pitch misses. Two and two. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. You got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. And yeah, the righty deals. Stays alive. At the belt and fire. And that one fouled off. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Here's Glaber Torres. The second baseman. Glaber Torres. On the ground to first, could be two. To Franco for one. On the first double play. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Josh Donaldson. First offering, and it just misses. Next one is off the plate. Two balls, no strikes to count. Swing and a miss as he was out front. That's the third out. Halfway through this one. And welcome back. Here's the catcher, Francisco Mejia. Leading off for the Reds. The pitch. The catcher. Ronnie. And he pumps it a strike. And I know you want to be patient as a hitter, but you got to be ready to jump on the first thing straight. And he got one right there, but left the bat on his shoulder. Foul ball there. Deal two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. One out. Pretty electric stuff showing up on the mound right now. I mean, in the double digit strikeouts, he should two. be able to rack up some more before Yandy. he's done in this one. And you know, not many of these hitters have had much of an answer for what he's offering out there. 
Well on the mound very efficient able to produce an outcome it seems like within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Oh and two as he waves at that one. Out to center. Picks. Sizing this one up. Pulls it in for the out. The right fielder, number 13, Manuel. Manuel Margot Mar up to the plate. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Next offering is in for a strike. Next one misses. Two balls and a strike. Two balls, one strike. Next pitch is outside. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. 3 1 count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. The 3 1 in for a strike. Full count. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3 2 pitch. And I tell you what, he now earned that walk. Center fielder. Two outs, runner at first. Brett Phillips, the next to hit. In there, and it's 0 1. There was a high velocity fastball in the zone. I think a little frustration from walking the previous hitter. He's got good stuff. Pitch inside the zone and trust it. On the ground to short. On the run, throw to first, to first, and he beats it, everyone's safe. That's a play you expect your shortstop to make pretty much every time. Pretty routine. Hard to tell if he didn't get a great grip on it or the mechanics on him just broke down, but that gives this offense an extra out to work with. A Rosarena in the box now, takes strike one. Next pitch in the dirt, ball one. First and second, two down. You know, Boog, if you're that base runner at second base, you want to be quiet out there. Not bouncing around, not distracting your teammate, the hitter. Make sure that he can clearly focus on that pitcher and that release point. Bounce to the right. And it's through for a hit. The tag safe. And it's 1-0. Oh, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. Bronco in the box again, takes the strike. Phillips, the lead runner at second, a Rosarena at first, two out of the inning. Next offering is foul back. Also really good at that. What I like about this guy, his back stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability. That's the base hit. Here comes the runner. He'll score easily. It's 2-0. A perfect example right there. That plate discipline, it pays off. The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. And now it's Brandon Lau. Pitch misses inside. Ball one. Right-hander kicks, deals. Swing and a miss. And a swing and a miss. Good job of damage control right there. We're through five. It's the Rays two and the Yankees nothing. Back now in Tampa Bay. Start of the six. John Chomby with Chris Singleton. And leading off, Ben Workben. And the pitch. Line drive. Base hit right field. 
Off to a good start with a leadoff nod. Now batting. Now it's the, the shortstop, shortstop Isaiah Kiner Falefa. Kiner Falefa. First pitch and he just misses. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap, but you know at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ball game. And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Oh, and now a wild pitch. No advance. Good job behind the dish. Nobody out. Runner at first. Got him. And there's one down. Frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little now while. Back, you want to be ready to hit the fastball. Aaron. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. And that one hammered. That's back there. Can't get there. Should be extra bases. Lead runner holds at third, so two runners in scoring position and just one out. Now batting. Now here is Anthony Rizzo. One for one with a single so far. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. And that one is lifted in the air. A Rosarena in position. Makes the grab. Runner tagging from third. Maybe bluffing there as he returns to third. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity. Oh, but competitor but like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. To third. Throws to first. And they take care of Stanton for the out. Well, we go bottom six. Here's Mike Zanino. Leading off for the red. And a pitch. The designated hitter. Mike. And that's through there for a strike. No, well, we, we call that key holding. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that's that good. early in the count. Next offering misses, one ball, one and it's one and one. And yeah, there's a ball. Swing and a miss. As he was out front that time. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. Leadoff man retired in the sixth. Simply said, this guy's flailing at the plate now right back. now. Just First disconnected baseball. from head to toes in sure. terms of the sink of his body. That's his fifth strike out of the series, and we're just two games in. So hoping to see some kind of adjustment out of him. His at-bats are just a little tough to watch right now. And a foul ball. Ripped on a line to center. And puts the squeeze on that. Two down. And now, now the catcher for the Rays, catcher. Francisco, Francisco Mejia. Mejia. Oh, First boy. pitch doesn't find the zone. Counts one and oh. The nope. next offering misses. And that's ball two. Oh. Next pitch is downstairs. And here it comes. 
Strike on the inside corner. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. The pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. In the air, left field, and it's foul. Well, just about to hit that century mark, 100 pitches for this game. And down on strikes. Out number three. Rays held in check here. They're up 2 nothing. Welcome back. It's Aaron Judge now. Leading off on the anchor. The right fielder, number 99. Aaron. The Yankees looking to rally. And the right hander back to work. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. Action in the pen down there. Nick Anderson appears to be getting loose. Shagwa warming up as well. Next pitch is outside. He's clearly trying to work him away here. Both pitches off the plate. If you really want to put the ball in play, you're going to have to stay back and drive it to the opposite field. There's a swing and a miss. So impressive how the velo is still there, even this deep into the outing. Out to short. Franco on to first. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seven. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. That one laced to center and a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Singy, he squared that base. one up in a big Lee way. Lee. So let's take another Full look red. at it with StatCast. Nerd Head Assemble. Just incredible power in this swing as it came oh, off the bat at 117 miles per hour. He saw it all the way. Really good weight transfer and just demonstrated some exceptional bat speed with that swing. Man, impressive. One and one. Swing and a miss. And it's a ball to strike. Gallo, the base runner at first with one out. Lifted in the air, right center field. And that'll fall for a base hit. Save! Now it's Josh Donaldson's yeah. turn to hit. First offering, misses the mark. Runners at first and second with one gone. That one not close, and it's two and one. Two on, one out. Good eye right there. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. And here's a 3-2. Stays alive. Ground ball left side could be two. They get the tag on him. Double play. They can't seem to break through. Inning over. The Yanks lead one, and they're down two nothing. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Michael King. And this guy could bring it velocity-wise. Now up for Tampa Bay, Yandy Diaz. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. Out to short. To first. One up, one down. The right fielder. Manuel Marco next to hit for the Rays. 
He walked and came around to score his first time up. Fly ball down the line. He's got it. And there's two away. Two now outs, base is empty. Center fielder. And now the center Brett. fielder, Brett Phillips. Phillips. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 yep. oh, now. Oh, and two now. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And that's the third out. Rays go in order. One, two, three. We're at the top of the eighth. Here's the Yankees catcher now. Ben Workvet. Leading off with the Yankees. The catcher. Ben Workvet. The pitch. Out there to center. Phillips moving under this one. And there's one away. Now batting. Next to hit, Isaiah Kiner Falefa. Went down on strikes his first time through. The Yankees going with a pinch hitter. Pinch hitting Marwin Gonzalez. Looking to start something with one gone. Marwin Gonzalez. Marco sizes this one up. That's out number two. Up next, Aaron Hicks next. now. One for the three. Fielder. Aaron Hicks. And first offering is fouled off. The 0 1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Strike two. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Next one just misses. Now two and two. Next offering is foul back. Righty delivers. And now the count filled up three and two. Here comes a pitch. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. That one blasted deep to right. That's back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. So the Yanks go in order. They trail it here 2-0. So remaining gentlemen, in the game defensively, Marwin Gonzalez taking over as the new shortstop now following his now pinch hit appearance. Number 14. A Rosarena in the box now. No balls and a strike. Bunt attempt popped up. Whips it to first on the run. Bunt attempt doesn't work. They get the out. Here's Wander Franco. Shortstop. Wander. Wander. Check swing, but he went too far. Strike one. And he's down 0 2 as he swings through it. It might be time to choke up a little bit, get that front foot down early, maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. A wind and a pitch. That's a ball. The count is one and two. And a foul ball, he stays alive. One, two now. Little chopper rolls foul. Right-handed reliever. 
Out to short. Gonzalez collects it. Fires over to first. Franco gone on the play. The batter, number eight. Two outs, bases Second empty. Baseman. And here is Brandon, Brandon Lau. And the first well, offering is not close. That one pushed foul out of play off to the left. In the air out to center. Hicks makes the grab and that is the inning. Down in order go the Rays as they're unable to add to their 2-0 lead. Back here at the ballpark, all set to start the ninth in this one. Leading Stepping off. in, Anthony Rizzo. Glass now, Anthony. back to work. Oh, now this is blasted. Way back there, on its way. Gone. Anthony Rizzo circles the bases, and they inch closer. It's 2-1. With this guy's velocity, a changeup is really a break for a hitter. He got a BP fastball, didn't move a whole lot, but he absolutely tattooed it. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. That'll be it for Glass now, and as he heads off, we'll step aside for a minute. Back with a new pitcher after this break. You're now a new pitcher team. for the Rays, Andrew Pittridge. Trying to protect this lead. Now Andrew. here's Giancarlo Stanton. This one in the air center field. Phillips should have this one. Drops into the glove. And there's one down. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. Up towards right center field. That's back. And it hits the fence. The relay throw. And he's out. The triple is arguably the most exciting play in baseball, and a guy's worked so hard to get around first, to get around second, to get thrown out at third. Man, you just feel bad for him. On top of that, he was already in scoring position, so you think about how it kind of hurts the team as well. Here's Joey Gallo. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. Here's your one. Next offering misses down and away. One run game here in the top of the ninth. So now one and two. Let's say that stayed in the tunnel for a long time. No chance of even fouling it off. And a swing and a miss. And that is the ball game. Great pitchers doing in this one. You get to a certain point where each pitcher is trying to outdo the other, go a little bit deeper into the ball game. And for these guys, it really came down to a few key at bats. This was a fun one to watch. And your final score here today, 2-1. They hang on to win it by a run. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Shambi saying so long from Tampa Bay. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious Rays. Two runs on four hits. No errors. They left four men on base.
And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. The show brings you a matchup of division rivals. It's the New York Yankees taking on the Tampa Bay Rays. And, and we'll be now, back with the first pitch right after this. 2022 Tampa Bay. Just a little bit away from first pitch. And on the mound today, Shane McClanahan. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more. and settles in he's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position most guys they get a little tight they start to aim the baseball but for some reason he gets looser the ball comes out of his hand with more life and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know tough situations and get his team back in the dugout back up the middle in a base hit so a man on base to start the inning Good two strike hitting right there Boog a bit of a lost start for some so that was nicely done to beat the odds everything was on time and fluid in that swing got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock those always feel good here's Aaron Hicks that one's in there 0 one 
Rudder at first with no outs here. In the air to left center, Kiermaier settles under it. Puts the squeeze on that one. One down. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. The first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. Rizzo swings and belts one. Carrying well. Deep to right. And gone! Anthony Rizzo circles the bases. And that gives him a lead. It's 2-0. Power versus power right there, like two locomotives colliding. Who's going to win? Well, a really good job there by the hitter getting the top hand working. Powers that fastball out of here. And here is Giancarlo Stanton. Batting four, the right fielder, Giancarlo. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Stanton, a guy capable of hitting it a long way. Oh, you can tell how comfortable he is. Look at that front foot on the line as he is close to the plate. But he can be very quick to a pitch that is down and in. The lefty ready and a 1-1. Swing and a slow roller. Franco collects. The throw to first. And they take care of Stanton for the out. Here is Aaron Judge. Aaron Judd. Hey. And the next pitch is way outside. Next one misses, and it's two and one. Line drive, caught. Another look at the long ball for the Yankees. It's now a two nothing ball game. We go to the bottom of the first and stepping in for the Rays, Randy Arozarena. And leading off for the Rays. And a pitch. Right well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across. This is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Popped up. Makes the catch, and there's one down. Batting second. Now That's batting Wander Franco. Franco. In there for strike one. Oh, one's the count. Next offering is in for a strike. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. One down, base is empty. Stays alive. See how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing, that high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. And the 0-2. That one to first. And he picks it up and he'll put it in his pocket. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Two gone now. Well, he should get some fist bumps when he gets back into the dugout because even that though he strikes out, he saw a lot point. of pitches, and he battled. Right and this is a long haul where you're trying to get that pitch count up as early as possible. So 
gave the guys behind him an opportunity to see what's working for this pitcher or not. But I tell you what, it's a nice job yeah. right there. Oh, and a swing and a miss. And that's that. Nothing doing for Tampa. They trail things here, 2 0. Back here at Tropicana Field, Joey Gallo steps to the plate. Leading off of the Yankees, the left fielder, Andy Deal. Joey Gallo. Now with the shift on, Gallo hits right into it. Oh. He takes it on his own. One up, one down. Batting seven. Here is the, second baseman, the young phenom, Glaber Torres. Torres. Torres, a guy the Yankees acquired for Heraldus Chapman back in 2016. He is fearless. You can't tell if he's been in this league for eight years or two years. Next pitch misses. And one and one. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. <laughs> On the ground, out to short. Zips it across. Yeah. Two up, two down at the top of the second. Batting The shortstop. Marwin. Two Gonzalez. outs, base is empty. Marwin Gonzalez up to hit here. That one drilled left field. And foul as it bangs off the fence. It's the wind of the pitch. Good eye right there. And now the lefty. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. And welcome back. And yeah, the batter now, Mike Zunino. And the pitch. For the Rays. The designated Foul off hitter. down the right side. Got some cut action to it. Velocity pretty good on that slider. So far, moving the ball around nicely. Next offering is foul back. The 0 2. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Now one away. Now this pitching staff has been merciless against him in this one. I mean, he struck out six Batting times good. in this series, no and we've seen no adjustment out of him so far. Meadows. Now it's Austin Meadows, the 0-1. They say he went. And a swing and a miss, down on strikes. Already two out here in the home half of inning number two. Francisco Mejia that coming up to hit. The catcher. Francisco. And that's in there for strike one. Mejia. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. You've got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. It's an immaculate inning. Top half of the third inning, and stepping in for the Yankees, Kyle Higashioka. The catcher, Kyle Higashioka. Swing and a miss. Oh, it's 0 right. 1. Well, he looks fresh out there. Just needs to get a little more confidence and remember how good he's been in the past. In the air, right field. A Rosarena makes the ground, and a quick out number one. So the batting order turns over. Here's DJ LeMayhew, and he's already singled in this game. This to center field. Kiermaier makes his way towards it and makes the grab. And there are two outs. 
now batting. Aaron Hicks the getting ready to hit. Aaron He's 0 for 1. Hicks. And first offering is fouled off. This has always been the better side for Aaron Hicks. 0-2 now. What Hicks do you got? checks his swing. Now it appeal to first. No swing, says Freddie Ferguson. Two down, nobody on. And that one is lifted in the air. And that's a base hit. And that keeps the inning going. Really nice job of two strike hitting in that at bat. You know what they say, he couldn't have thrown it out there any better than that. And certainly the case that time, just flared it back behind the second baseman and dropped it in there. And here is Anthony Rizzo. This splits between April and May there. High fly ball, right field. And that is that. One left for the Yankees. Loisica back Rays. to work. The Swings and misses. And it's 0-1. Yeah. 0-2 as he Double waves at that one. Man, 91 on the slider right there. That's a hard one. That's a low-end fastball for some guys. And a pop-up. Right side. Foul territory. Nobody can get there, and it's a foul ball. The next pitch misses, and the count is one and two. Got him. And one out now. You know, variant speeds can be just as useful for a pitcher as movement, as you see right there. It really was in a great location, but the fact that the velocity change had the hitter off balance, and that's all you got to do sometimes. Kevin Kiermeyer watches that one for a strike, standing in here with one down. There's a swing and a drive. That's back there. Banks off the wall. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. Absolutely blasted that one into the gap, but just didn't have quite enough to clear the wall out there. Maybe a little more elevation under it, and it carries over. But that's a swing you'll be happy with every time. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. Fall off foul. Kiermaier over at second, one down. Swings and misses. Picks up strikeout number seven. Quite the start to this game on the mound. Looking very dangerous to these hitters. Seven punch outs already. So this lineup hasn't had much success. Trying to figure them out. I'm impressed with what we're seeing here. A Rosarena batting for the second time. And that's strike one. Ground ball right side. Takes it himself. Gets him easily. Ends the inning. The Rays strand just the one, and they're down 2 nothing. Back now in Tampa Bay, and now the right fielder, Giancarlo Stan. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Kicks and fires. Hard hit to third. Oh, nice play. Got him. Great play to keep the leadoff man off base. This is such a difficult play for a third baseman, Chris. A sliding stop and worthy of another look for StatCast. Oh, I'll tell you, man, I'm frustrated if I'm the one hustling down the line the whole time, oh, thinking I've got a knock and going to beat the throw, and then, boom, you hear the ball hit the mid, and you're out. That's just a great stop and great throw. Going oh, two now. 
just missed. Really good take, especially with two strikes. On the ground to the left, Franco picks it up, whips it across, Judge out on the play. Now batter. Now, Joey league. Gallo Joey. leading the American League in homers coming into this one, having a monster season. And he swings and misses, and it's oh nothing at all. These guys have come out ready to swing the bats early in the count and swing it often. If you want to score some runs, have an offensive explosion, that can be a route to doing it. The why to kick the pitch. And the count one and two. Two outs. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And good work there as he gets a one. Welcome back. Stepping in is the switch hitting shortstop, Wander Franco. And the pitch. Not shortstop. And ball one. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Now a screamer into the outfield. Stan puts it away, and there's one down. No matter. Lau at the plate. Second baseman, Granted. Wow. Into center, Gallo settles under this one. He makes the grab, and there's two down. Now back. Two outs, base is empty. Hitter. Here's Mike Zanino. Hitless in the series so far. He's over seven. Now fly ball to right center. Stanton is there. Makes the catch in and go. Gray's held in check here. They're still down. It's two zip. Back here at the ballpark, top five, John Chambi with Chris Singleton. Leading and leading it off, Glaber Torres. Glaber. The pitch. Torres. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. Up next. For Here's the, the shortstop at the, the play, shortstop. Marwin Gonzalez. Marwin. Slow roller to third. Gathers and throws to first. And the first two set down on the top of the fifth. Now batting. Catcher. Kyle Higashioka. Two outs, base is empty. And now the catcher comes up to him. Kyle Higashioka. First offering misses badly for ball one. Liner snagged it first. One, two, three, go the Yankees. But they're on top two nothing. Back here at Tropicana Field, we head to the bottom of the fifth. Here's the left fielder, Austin Meadows. Righty to the plate. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Francisco Mejia next to hit for the Rays. Francisco Mejia. Meadows gets his lead at first with nobody out. Oh. The next offering misses. One ball, one strike. Oh. 
with two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. Next offering is fouled back. Kicks and deals. The punch out there, and he's down on strikes for the second time today. Well, I'm not really sure why he let that one go by. I mean, two. out of the hand, it had a lot Yonji. of the strike zone. Sure, it had some good yeah. arm side run at the end to move to the outside part of the plate. But with two strikes, you got to be ready to swing it there, and you can't leave it in the umpire's hands. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Baldy stays alive. Maybe a two ball. Five, four, three. It's a double play. And that'll do it for the inning. Well, we can never overstate it. Pitcher's best friend right there. Double play gets out of the jam, saves some pitches. And welcome back. And now, DJ LeMay here. The third baseman, DJ LeMay. McClanahan back to work. And there's the strike. Well, it was bumpy in the early going for the lefty, but he settled into a really nice groove. And here it comes. The other way. Nice grab. Great hops right there, Boog. He timed it just right Up to bring that liner right. down, and he saved the knock. Aaron Hicks. Now here's Aaron Hicks. Check swing, but he went too far. And that is strike one. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Next off, bring in the dirt. And that is ball one. Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. Out on the drop third strike, two gone. The battle. The first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. Fouled off. He was late. <laughs> Left hand hitter waits. And it's even up. To center and a base hit. Another multi hit game for him. He's now been batting. really hot right lately. Fielder. That's about as textbook Shot as it gets. Low. Got his stride and load Stanton. out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. He swings and fouls one off. Rizzo off of first with two away. They say it went. Sends it to first. And they take care of Stan. Your Play Holmes please. into the game. Now and he'll do his best to hang on to this Double lead. So at this point in the ball Play. game, we're talking about middle innings. And he need a little length out of this arm. Coming out of the bullpen, we'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. And there's a hit. And the leadoff man aboard. First pitch swing in, went up there with the plan to be aggressive. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eyes on it. And sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. 
Next offering is down low. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Nobody out. Runner at first. Line drive. Takes it in for the out. Now it's Randy or Rosarena. The right fielder. Randy. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. This is one of those situations the infielders have to pre-plan and understand that the ball's got to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for a double play. Pick off loop to first. Kiermaier back easily. And one and two. One and two. Next offering is fouled back. And a pitch. Stays alive. A one two. Now one miss. Looks like he was trying to get to the front door with that curveball. It's definitely a finesse pitch, but it backed up a little bit on him and stayed inside. Eighth pitch of the at back coming up. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Man, that's a tough one to take on the full count, but I guess he no saw it really no well. It's a really no nice plate appearance. Swing and a tap for the goal foul. Next offering is foul back. One out. Runners at first and second. Tapped softly on the ground. Quick feed to second for one. Not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. No matter. Number eight. And now it's second Brandon Lau. Brandon. Lau. Throw to first. And he's back in easily. Out of the bullpen for the Yankees, Zach Britton. He's pitching on two days rest. Number 53, Zach Britton. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Well, no base hits in the series for him so far, and it's clearly been a rough one. I just hope he's not pressing too hard because that just compounds things. It makes the slump even longer. Never seemed to help. Never helped me. Swing and a miss, and that is that. Sometimes he wears the emotion on the sleeve, but that's okay as long as he's getting results. And right there, thrilled with the punch out to get out of a jam. Matt Whistler comes on now. He last pitched two days ago. Now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate. The designated hitter, Aaron. The pitch. Ball one there. Bullpen movement for the Rays. Brooks Rayleigh getting loose out there. And now it's even up. Wow, no fair right there. I mean, that slider didn't move to the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that pitch. Swing and a miss. And yeah, a count one and two. Swings here and blasts one left field on its way. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. Aaron Judge leads the yard. And they add a run. It's 
A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. And now it's Joey Gallo. Left fielder. Joey right field down the line, and that one slices down. Well, that ball is hit pretty hard and sure had home run distance, but if you're the pitcher out there on the mound, you execute it. Just a long strike, you go after him and finish him off. The 1 1. Swing and a miss. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. Next offering is fouled back. The one two. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. And the righty deals. And it's down on strikes. One away. Well, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's hard yeah, to bring that to a halt like once you've committed. Flavor. He tried to check the swing, cool. just couldn't do it. Swings and blasts one deep to left center on its way. And that is gone. Glaber Torres goes yard. Home run number five on the season. It's 4 0. With a low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spots. If you don't, you'll get hit hard. Really good swing there. Patient, waited for it. It was like BP all the way. And Rays, they go to the bullpen. Ryan Thompson, he's being eased into the game here with the bases empty. Digging in, Marwin Gonzalez. And a foul ball. Next offering misses, and the count even one and one. Still only one out here in the inning. <laughs> Left hand batter waits and fouled off. pitch and down on strikes he goes and now two gone wow that's a tough call for the hitter but the pitcher will take that all now day long catcher. not quite in the strike Kyle. zone but he found a spot that the umpire is going to at least for now allow him to get that call so hitters are going to have to make an adjustment but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can Kyle Higashioka stands in with two away as he takes a ball Smash towards center. Kirma makes the catch, and that'll do it. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. It's now a 4 nothing ball game. Back now in Tampa Bay, bottom of the seventh, and now the DH, Mike Zunino. And he deals. The designated hitter. That clips the coin. Well, they've kept him pretty quiet no, in this series. Still doesn't have a knock. I know you want to get that first knock out of the way. Maybe more will come. But you got to give some credit to the pitching staff. They've had a great plan against it. Next offering is foul back. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And now one away. Austin Meadows next to hit for the Rays. One for two. Left 
in there, and it's 0-1. Now, just to submit mixer slider right there, it's a great pitch to hit if you can recognize it early and jump on it. Next offering is foul back. And a pitch. Tries to check his swing. Now a look to third. And he won around. Rule to swing. Back-to-back -back strikeouts now to start the frame, Catcher. and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. And now Francisco Mejia in there for strike one. Next offering way off the plate. Here's a one-to-one. In the air, left field. Makes the play, and it's out number three. Down in order, go the Rays. They trail it here, 4 nothing. Welcome back, and now it's going to be D.J. LeMay. Leading off for the Yankees, the third baseman, D.J. LeMay. Here comes a pitch. On the ground, right side. Tosses the first. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. Up next to the eighth. Aaron Hicks at the plate. The Aaron Hicks. That one fouled off. Next pitch is outside. And the right hander deals. Swings through that one. One and two now. And it's fouled away. And a swing and a miss. Two gone. Stood absolutely no chance on that slider right there. And I don't mean to laugh, but that's a tough one. A pretty much a perfect strikeout pitch. It looks like a fastball middle in. Kind of has cutter action and it just bunches you up to where you can't get your hands through and the barrel to it. And not much you can do unless you recognize the spin early and you spit on it. The 0 1 is outside and it's a ball and a strike. Belton fires. Hard on the ground to first. Diaz steps on the bag, and the Yanks go quietly. Jack Green ready to go, and he'll work on holding this lead. Yanni Diaz now. He hit it to a double play his first time up. There's the strike. Leading off for the Ray, the first baseman. Yandy. Now one and one. Yeah. The count one and one. To the right side. Gets it to first. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. Now batting center fielder Kevin Kiermaier. Here's Kevin Kiermaier. One for one with a single so far. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Swing and a miss. And a count even at one. Man, he was really tardy on that fastball. Great job of setting him up by throwing the curveball 
add some velocity to it on the next pitch can't catch up right hander kicks deals and a foul ball. Foul ball, he stays alive. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And there are two down. And here is Taylor Wall. It's interesting, he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. Pitch. Got the back going too soon. It's strike two. And now one and two. Got him looking. Rays retired in order. Rays go in order. One, two, three. They're on the short end of a four nothing score. Back here at the ballpark, we go to the ninth. Now it's the right fielder, Giancarlo Stanton. The right fielder, Giancarlo Stanton. Thompson back to work. And takes low for ball one. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Brooks Raley preparing to come on if needed. That one hammered, but pulled foul. Late with the swing there. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good, and then by the time it gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Next offering is downstairs. Kicks and fires. Bounce to third. Walls throws to first. And they take care of Stanton for the out. Judge batting with one down takes the strike. Right-handed reliever. Swing and a ball popped up. That one gets down for a hit. But they hold him to just a one-out single. Nice work to get the ball back in quickly. Now back. Man at first with one gone. And up next for New York, Joey Gallo. Pounding ball here, rolls foul. Righty delivers. Awkward swing there from the big left-handed hitter. Off balance as well. And the pitch. And that's outside. Judge stands at first with one out. Next offering is foul back. Pitch. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days, but when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. And there's a foul ball. The 0 1. And there's the ball. One and one. Oh. 
Oh, now this one's blasted deep to left. Way back there, on its way and out of here. He's done it again. And they add to the lead. It's 6-0. He's so good at getting his arms extended, and that's exactly what he did right there. You don't typically want to pull a pitch in that part of the plate, but he doesn't allow his wrist to roll over, stays through the ball, gets the loft, and gets the home run. And next for New York, Marwin now Gonzalez. The shortstop, Marwin Gonzalez. Swings through that one, 0-1. Two down, nobody on. And there's a strike. Here's the 0-2. Went too far that time. It's one and two. Well, he missed badly with that 0-2 fastball. Hitter has to understand. Probably wants to try to put him away with that pitch. So got to stay ready for it. Line drive. Caught. Labor Torres with the big fly for New York. It's now a 6 nothing ball game. Back here at Tropicana Field, and now here's a speed threat. Outfielder, Randy Arozarena. Swing and a miss, strike one. It might be time to choke up a little bit, get that front foot down early, maybe even just spread out. It's really late right now. The pitch stays alive. The 0 2. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. One out, bottom of the ninth. Well, I'd say he pretty much had to offer it that one. You don't want to leave it in the umpire's hands. Even though it ended up outside the zone, it still was close enough to where it looked like it could drop down right on that corner and get the call. Last thing you want to do is get punched out by the umpire knowing. You could have at least fouled the pitch off and kept the at bat going. Nope. Next one misses, one and up. the count is one and one. And that one lifted in the air, center field. Pulls it down, and he makes the catch. Out number two. Now batting, second baseman. And the batter now, Brandon Lau. Good power, not great in the OBP department. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. The one Foul ball there. And he hits a ground ball right side. Throw to first. Ball game. And the Yankees take this one in a blowout. These guys had the long ball working for them today. Four home runs had a lot to do with them coming out on top. 6 nothing is how this one ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm our John Chum. Thanks for afternoon. joining us. First for the victorious Yankees. Six runs, eight hits, no errors. They left two.